Welcome to my channel. Uh, I am Skylark. I make various forms of content. I am a professional artist as well as a streamer. I recently moved, so my streams have been kind of like loose and staggered, uh, but I'm hoping to get back into it soon. If you have been following me on Twitter and TikTok, you know that I am starting a series of videos where I explain how to use Clip Studio Paint in a way that makes it less intimidating for people because a lot of people want to use Clip Studio, but they are having a very hard time with the interface, with how to use it, what to use, blah, 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 all that stuff. So I am taking it upon myself to kind of break it down for you guys. We're going to try and do this in small digestible chunks. And this part of the video is just going to be the intro. As part of the intro, I'm going to introduce you guys to the program itself. So to start out, you have two different windows. You have the Clip Studio Paint window, which is this window that you're looking at right now. And then you have this window, which is the Clip Studio window. And I'm just gonna make it full size. This window is important if you use it frequently. I only recently started using it because there was a lot of features that I found that I wanted to use more often. Some of the features include this section up here called the Works section. It literally just conglomerates all of the files that you've opened uh, in the program. So if you go back to the program itself, you know how you can go to file and then open recent, which will open all of your recent files. That's essentially what that does. So it, it has all of your top five recent files. Uh, you can lower it. It has a drop down kind of feature to it. Uh, you also get uh, news notifications and uh, tips and tutorials and stuff like that all throughout this home page. This is the home page of this. They also recommend a brush sometimes, uh, recommended assets, assets that are like super popular right now, questions from the community. So you kind of have a bunch. Ooh, I actually like that brush. Go back. <laughs> I like that brush. Um, so you have like a bunch of options. Uh, the next button, if you look here on the left hand side where my mouse is, the next button is your paint button that opens the Clip Studio Paint uh, program, which is this window. The one down, the one below that is the Clip Studio Modeler, which is their 3D modeler. Next, you have your Manage uh, options, which are right here. Uh, it is literally how you manage your use of the program. So you have your license options, which I'm not going to click. Uh, and your activation code options, which will activate your program. So those two I'm not going to click, but just know like this is where you would go to upgrade from Pro to EX. This is where you would go to upgrade from Debut to Pro. Like that's that's that option. And then your activation code that they email you uh, would go into this section here. The next section is your manage work section. I hope there's nothing horny in here. There isn't. Oh wait, yes there is. Haha, -ha, don't look. I'll just blur it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so this is your manage work section. All of this is pretty much all of the works that you've worked on. Like all of the pieces that you've you've worked on in Clip Studio. Sometimes you, you'll get uh, files that you have worked on that aren't in the Clip Studio workspace, but sometimes you do. Like most of the time you do. Like if you open it, it's gonna be in there. Like, uh, if you click your project and you remove it, it's not going to be gone from your computer. It's just gone from the uh, work hub for Clip Studio. You can also select certain pieces. Like, uh, I'll select this one and this one and this one. And I'll right click and then I'll add it to favorites. And then on the left hand side, you have all favorites and then you can add more sections if you want to so right now these three are in my favorites they'll get a little blue heart next to them to indicate that they're in your favorites they'll get a blue heart uh next to them in the main hub as well i'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see my actual finger uh but i am moving my mouse as well uh anyway uh work stuff uh generally i think I think I may have messed this up where I have a dual thing kind of going. Um, finished prints or finished and ready to print stuff I have put in here. 
uh, stuff from my comic I've put in here. Uh, congratulations, there are no spoilers. <laughs> uh, this is for my other comic. So you can kind of break it down into subfolders. So like, if you're if you open it up and you're like, okay, I need to work on my webcomic now, you can go to your webcomic subfolder and it'll bring up all of the work that you have for your webcomic that you put into that folder. Uh, next is manage materials. Uh, it's the same concept, but a little different. Instead of your works, it's your um, it's your your materials that you've made. So that's brushes, gradients, color swatches, uh, color palettes, manga material, image material, all that stuff. Uh, these are all of my custom ones, or most of my custom ones. Uh, these are the patterns that come with Clip Studio. Uh, the monochrome patterns that come with Clip Studio. Uh, the manga patterns and the manga materials that come with Clip Studio. Image materials that come with Clip Studio. These are typically what are used to make brushes. That's why if you look, there's kind of just like a bunch of brush strokes and stuff like that. Because I was recently playing with uh, the Photoshop import option. So I kind of get all of this stuff. Then you have your 3D section, which is the 3D assets that Clip Studio offers. This is also kind of where you can come in and download certain materials if they're not downloaded already because they're kind of saved to a hub. You hit this little cloud and it downloads it for you. Next are the ones that you download from the asset store. Cell shading brush, motion blur, some manga stuff, some pixel art brushes, some uh, decorative brushes down here. And then your favorites, same as the other section. If you select certain ones and you put them in your favorites, they're gonna be in the favorites section. Uh, next are services. I'm not gonna click all of these because they will take forever to load. Asset store pretty much is where you can get all of the assets that the community puts out. Sometimes they cost clippies, which are the Clip Studio paint points that you can get. Uh, sometimes they cost gold, um, which are also Clip Studio uh, uh, what is it? What's the word? Um, Clip Studio currency that you can get. So these are the top paid ones. These are the top free ones at the moment. Uh, and these are just new ones that came out. Sometimes you get some really nice stuff and sometimes you get some, some stuff that people have made for themselves and just said, oh, maybe somebody else would like to use this. But you find a whole bunch of stuff and if you search, uh, for what you're looking for like if you're looking for a chain if you search chain it'll pull up chains uh if you come all the way down this is pretty new uh they have it all sectioned out so you have like drawing and painting brushes comic and manga brushes design and pattern animation brushes 3d assets and then uh official stuff from clip studio that they develop in-house uh next you have the clip studio ask the q a community this is where you go to ask questions if it wants to load and show you guys. There we go. So this is where you go to ask questions. Some people are having issues downloading certain content, or th this is uh, an open discussion about downloading content. This one is troubleshooting. They're having issues with the control alt drag option. Uh, I was having trouble with that the other day, but it fixed itself, so. <laughs> uh, some people are having issues purchasing gold. So they're asking the community to help. These are all unanswered questions, uh, global questions, uh, questions that are very hot. So that means questions that are like answered immediately, but people keep having this issue. So they're like continuing coming back and looking at these threads, posing soon uh, questions. Now, all of these questions are for both the desktop, Mac and uh, Android and iOS versions of Clip Studio. So it's just literally just a general question community. Tips are a big community of people making tutorials. Some people make tutorials on how to draw chibis and how to animate and how to, it's mostly how to draw chibis, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, how to do isometric illustrations, uh, how to paint, how to do various things. Um, then these are from the official uh, Clip Studio group. These are labeled as official so that you know like, oh, Clip Studio put these out. On the right hand side, it shows you a bunch of other tutorials, uh, tips, and uh, 
top monthly hot tips, video tips, stuff like that. And then just different ways to get to different things that Clip Studio offers. Now if you go up, it shows you different subcategories. So concept and painting, character and drawing, manga, manga and comics, animation, and official tips and tutorials. You can also post your own tips and tutorials by hitting this new post button. Uh, and then right next to the new post button, obviously, is your profile button. So you can go through there and just check all that stuff. Okay, next part is just exporting and publishing. They have an export and publish option for uh, web comics, uh, manga, and webtoons, and fanzines. So that's what this section is. I'm not going to click any of that because I'm not, I'm not fully versed in it. So I don't want to click it and then be like, hey! This is what it is. I want to do that to you guys. Um, so it, it, it's been 20 minutes and I've gone through the main window of Clip Studio Paint. This is just the main window and this is the introduction. This is kind of what you're getting into. It looks a lot more intimidating than it is. Oh, let me hold on before we're, we end really, really, really quick. Here is uh, another couple of options. This is your profile up here in the upper right hand corner. This is your profile. This is your cloud storage, how much of your cloud that you've used. You get 100 gigs. Um, so you can transfer between your desktop and another desktop or your desktop, another desktop and your mobile device if you have an iPad or an Android tablet. Or if you do it on your phone, it, it'll transfer to that. It's a cloud service that connects between whatever program you are, you are signed into. Uh, this is your gold and these are your clippy points. The only reason I have clippy is because they used to do a sign in every day and you'll get clippy points every day of the month. And because I work, <laughs> I, I was able to rack up like six or seven hundred of them. Uh, this is communication management. Communication management is just literally them saying, hey, we're downloading stuff. So just this is your download progress window pretty much. Kind of like if you are a gamer, when you go on Steam and you see the little thing at the bottom that says downloads two of two, uh, if you go there, you can see like the download progress of your game or your update. That's what that is, but it's for Clip Studio. Uh, these are your notifications. If you hit this, it's notifications and direct message, and it'll take you to the asset store, which will show you your notifications and direct message. Uh, these are your settings. I don't mess with this. The last time I messed with it, I messed it up. Uh, you can also change the background of that little work section. I typically don't change it because I just don't have a reason to. So this section here, it you can change it. Uh, you can hit browse files to change it and then you can hit restore and it'll restore it to this kind of space sky scene. Um, maintenance menu. I really don't mess with any of this stuff. <laughs> but uh, you can organize your works, organize your work labels. All that stuff uh, and then this is again user guide your help menu it tells you all you get, like your version information how to get in touch with support uh, service manual all that stuff is right there um, so let me do the outro <laughs> because it's already been 20 minutes and I don't want to go over 20 minutes for each video um, so this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with pretty much a really intuitive program that is built for artists. I don't want to say by artists, but it does seem like they work very closely with artists to understand like what needs to be done in the future. Um, I think when I started using this, I think I started using it like 2017, late 2017. I haven't had to pay again. The only time I pay again is for my, uh, for my iPad version and I pay yearly on that. So one, when I have money yearly, I pay it off. I'm just boom, paid, done. Um, I don't think I had a hard time switching between this and Paint Tool Sci. 
which is what I used prior to getting this. And I don't think I've ever went back to Paint Tool Sci. I got so used to being able to adjust the UI, make it uh, usable, uh, disconnect and reconnect things, and just really just be able to function with it in a better way for my work. Um, a big difference between this and Paint Tool Sci that I like is that I can turn the uh, user interface, which is UI, um, I can make it dark and it doesn't bother my eyes. I have not sensitive eyes, but if I look at something too bright for too long, I, I get headaches. Um, so I mean, I'm just very glad that I was able to make the switch between those two. Uh, so stick around for the next video. The next video is going to go over the actual paint program um, and all the different parts of the paint program. Uh, and I'm going to kind of, that might end up being broken down into two parts. I'm not sure because there there is a lot to go over, but you kind of have to narrow it down to what you're going to use and what you know you're going to use. So stick around and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.